Hello everyone, this is Terry from Genki Gaming TV and we're here with the episode 27 Yokai Watch 2019 review. Before we dive into the episode itself, I do want to provide you guys with a little bit of a PSA for next week's review. I may either have the review done really early or extremely late. I'm going to SubasaCon on Saturday, October 12th? Yeah, it's October 12th, right? Yeah. And because of that, Saturdays are normally when I record this, even though I'm recording it today on a Sunday because I spent most of yesterday working on a couple videos. I did my review video, I did my three things that were good about this Yokai Watch 2019 series. And I doodled some art. I made a new overlay for Final Fantasy V. Uh, along with doodling some art to finish up a logo icon for Alistair. So, yeah. Now, let's dive into this review. And maybe we won't be full of sadness. Well, our boy Nate has become tubby because he has been devouring everything in his sight. Snack food left, snack food right. Nom 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 nom. And what's worse, Nate has now unloaded his toot machine gun, farting about. Yes, I, I know, I am making fart jokes to make up for the fact of how embarrassed and devastated Katie Coon, Nate was when he farted with Katie. Literally, a step right behind him. Dude, he is so never going to marry her now. Hino is so, so trolling. Hino doesn't want us to think that there's any chance in Yokai World of the two of them becoming a couple. Hino's like, ha ha ha. Well, I mean, Hino sitting in his high rise with a cup of wine or a shot of shochu laughing, saying they thought they would have a, a Kitakun to Fumi chan moment. Not on my watch. Zahaha. But let's get back into it. Nate thought this was the work of Cheek Squeak. And then they thought it was the work of the yokai that makes you put your fingers in your nose, but no. It was me, Dio, this entire time. I'm kidding, it was not Dio, it was Devourer this entire time. And Whisper is still doing his annoying stuff of constantly turning into stuff in order to yokai dex stuff. I feel like one transformation a episode is enough for Whisper. He doesn't need to do three or four. So they summon Manjimont because Nate's like, I need the best yokai I have to deal with the situation. Who am I going to call? Ghostbusters? No. Shogun Nyan? No. I'm going to call Manjimont. He is my bro. He knows how to protect me and keep me safe. Manjimont is eight and then spit out, and then right as Nate Wenchan sides, because Manjimut's peeing in front of his house, which is shockingly not the most disturbing thing of this episode, his Wenchan side becomes one police side. And then he's like, I know, my buddy Wall Kappa can help. Wall Kappa's little, I want to say a little pond of little spot or little dew of water on top of his head surrounded by that seaweed or that kelp actually begins to crack. They tried to winch inside Walkappa to make his hair more protective. Well, Walkappa failed. Turns out the Devourer have been doing some studies. They want to improve their score. That's some of the gist that I got of this segment. But to improve their score, they have to ruin Kaitakun's existence. I mean, Nate's existence. So they do that by basically changing him into what he has never wanted to be. And then he has the bright idea of summoning that pin. that pinatoop? 
basically th the thing that Tubba Lubba plus the MVP award becomes. See, I am starting to remember yokai names. It just takes a while. And this causes an embarrassing charade and Nate being naked in front of the window, which KD Chan or Fumi Chan opens, revealing a sight that she's either about ready to faint at or about ready to something or other. I say something or other because this is a chosen show, so Katie fainted. Because that's what Katie would do. Uh, it would be kind of disturbing to open your blinds for your window and see someone naked. I do have to say that no matter if you were attracted to the person or not, it would be one of those disturbing moments of like, why did I move here? And then we transition to one of the weirder segments, Whisper, na Whisper Napping on a Roomba, because like a ghost needs sleep to begin with. Whisper is breaking my immersion. First on a bus or on a train, then in a taxi, then on a drone, now on a Roomba. Whisper, Whisper is going to end up not having a home because of all of the sleeping. He runs into Robanyan F and his squad of robotic yokai. Then again, Robanyan F pulls a deal by basically slicing and dicing his companions, the real yokai, doing surgeries to simulate robotics. Not to worry, Manjimut, Professor, Honeyform Jerry, and Dracula Nyan and the yokai we mentioned earlier show up and they have a massive yokai war. But Rabanyan F was always on their team this entire time. <laughs> and Whisper becomes Whisper 422. The newest Whisper variant brought to you by Takarotomi. You can buy it now on whisperbay.com along with every other arc shown in this episode. We move on to Akoma-chan and Komajiro... Komasan Komajiro for com. And there's food everywhere. Our bros are definitely hungry. Komasan has tons of soft serve. He is a happy camper. The Komami segment, I can actually say I truly enjoyed. It was much cuter than what I want to give Komasan credit for, so I'm giving all of that credit to Komajiro. Because Komajiro is my Koma bro that I like the most, because he used to be a Komain, a Komain, and now he's a frog, then a Komain again. I don't care, there's a cute tangerine in this episode, and this the store clerk holds Komasan up and that's uh, cute but we're just gonna pretend it's Komajiro the superior Koma bro. So the Koma bros have snacks and soft serve and drinks and oranges and tangerine so my and even Akinori shows up. Yes that is Akinori in the cutout. Or it might be by the mascot character, the orange or tangerine or meat can. But the segment was actually much cuter and much nicer than what I want to give it credit for. This is by far my favorite search for Kamami part. Just because this one actually makes so much sense and all of the prefectural promotions actually work well to carry a pot a part the thought process of Komami as a good person and the Koma Bros need a good way to stay encouraged on their search for Komami because to be frank they're on a wild goose chase guys we all know that though Komami is basically Carmen San Diego at this point because where in the world is Komami San Diego She's in another prefecture, just like Peach is in another castle, just like Dr. Robotnik has caught more adorable animals and is going to turn them into robots. Oh wait, Robanyan F did that too. 
But all in all, I want to rate this episode a B. I really, really wanted this episode to be much better than what it was. I I feel like Nate X Katie or K Takoon X Fumi Chan is just not in the cards anymore. Even though Shadow Side showed it, and thus we get a episode soon showing that, despite the point of. Nate embarrassing himself so much around Katie that Katie still cares for him as a close friend. Because right now, other than the the library time they had together, we've not had an episode that had those two in it for more than four to six minutes. I really feel like the search for Kamami is closing in on a good ending point because we're at episode 27 and let me look up how many prefectures japan has real quick prefectures of japan i mean i should know how many there are but i can't remember if there's 47 or if there are just 43 because some are subdivided down there are, Japan is divided into 47 prefectures. They consist of different levels of jurisdiction and different levels of administrative division. So there's consistently 43. So we are within about 20 episodes of the search for Kamami basically being finished even with stuff being like sub prefectures and I feel like the search for Komami was the best part of this episode the Rabanion stuff was good but the fight in that segment was so weak that it wasn't even worth watching to be frank and I need to be honest because as a yokai watch YouTuber, I, I guess that's what we're calling ourselves, or a yokai tuber, we need to be honest about this stuff. If there's something we don't like, we need to make it apparent for the yokai watch fandom. Because I know Hino doesn't watch my videos. I doubt anyone from level 5 knows that I exist, and for that, I'm actually okay with that unless they're going to offer me a free English copy of Yokai Watch 4, but that's beside the point. I'm a small channel, so I fall under that radar, but I want to be coherent and good for you guys because you you value my insight. Or you just like watching the reviews or you're here for the episode link. So yeah. the. This episode had some good points, but this episode also was just full of the fart jokes. And Nate embarrassing himself. And Manjimut being race arrested, and the proof that one chan sides are inefficient ways of solving problems that never end up solving anything. I feel like if I had five minutes with Hino or anyone from Level 5's animation team or like anyone from the anime I would tell them that One Chan sides need to actually they feel powerful they need to feel like true problem solvers they cannot just be these funny gags because the Wall Kappa one we can all admit Wall Kappa really has no place in this episode and that the the director's like, well, the fandom has not seen Wall Kappa in 50 episodes or so. Let's bring Wall Kappa in. That careless thought process creates situations where we see some of our favorite yokai, but we see them fail completely and we see them do stuff that does not amount to any substantial gain. And I'm not angry about this. I'm just kind of confused. I know we all are with the direction of the current anime. I, for one, think they're stalling. They're stalling out for the production of Yokai Watch 5. 
I believe Yokai Watch 5, which is whatever Yokai Watch Movie 6 amounts to, is going to be well designed. I believe they need these episodes to be how they are to lower our expectations so that when they impress us with how good Yokai Watch Movie 6 is, we'll be prepared for the OG section of the new game. So, yeah guys, I want to thank you all for your support yet again and tell you guys you are amazing people and that your week is going to be full of blessings and positivities. You just have to think positively. You can do all things, not just anything. You just have to put your mind to it and you can do it. Bye for now.